Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. As you know, I often have Amazon affiliate links in the description below the videos, linking to the 3D printers I use or some other accessories. But the best thing about those links is that I get a report of all of the items that people in our communities buy after visiting those links. So I analyzed the over 200 anonymized orders that you all placed this year. So let's see what the 3D printing community looks like through the eyes of Amazon. Some of it's awesome, some of it's very weird. So let's take a look. First, let's start with the 3D printers you all purchased. The TiVo Tornado and the XYZ Printing DaVinci 1.0 Pro are expected because I use those printers and I highly recommend them. They are both FDM 3D printers with the Tornado being my primary printer for their last year or so, so I'm not surprised to see it on the list. There are a couple of popular entry-level printers as well, such as the Creality Ender 3 Pro and the Monoprice Maker Select Mini. But there are a couple that surprised me. The first surprise is the Dremel Digilab 3D20 printer. It's an FDM printer with a print area of 9 by 5.9 by 5.5 inches. It seems like this printer is writing the brand recognition game because at 540 US dollars, I think there are better options for mid-range printers these days. At least you guys bought it for only $371, which is quite the discount for you. The second surprise is an SLA resin printer from a company called Longer the Longer Orange 10 3D printer. It's an LCD SLA resin printer with a 98 by 55 by 140 millimeter print area. The reviews have some pretty good looking prints on it. And at $230, it's not a bad price for a resin printer. Next up, let's take a look at the filament you all purchased. The two most popular brands were Hatchbox and Amazon Basics. And the most popular color was black. PLA was by far the most popular material, but there was some PETG and ABS in there as well. A couple of the standout filaments are this Priline Wood PLA filament, which looks like it has a decent percentage of wood fibers. And at $20 a kilogram, that's not a bad price. But the Amazon page says, this quote, wood filaments is heavily used in healthcare, education, toys, building, automobiles, electronics, and anime fields, etc. I'm not sure how often wood PLA is used in the healthcare fields, but maybe you have some ideas. There was also some eSun PVA dissolvable filaments, so it looks like someone was taking a look at my dissolvable support videos. And finally, somebody picked up some eSun cleaning filaments. I haven't used any of the cleaning filaments myself, but the product description says it's, quote, just like an oil change for your car. So let me know if, in the comments below if you've used any of the cleaning filaments before, I'd like to see if this is something that people have found useful. The average price for a roll of filaments was $20, about the price of Hatchbox. The Amazon Basics averaged at $17 a roll, but somebody managed to snag some of the Anycubic PLA for just $9.79 a roll. What a steal! Related to filaments is resin. With the prices of SLA printers dropping, so are the prices for bottles of resin. Clear resin was the most popular, and surprisingly, Anycubic is selling one liter of their resin for less than $40. I've never seen resin prices this low, and hopefully this trend continues. Prices can still be a barrier of entry for resin 3D printing. The largest category was 3D printing accessories. You all love to upgrade your 3D printers. Nozzles were a popular upgrade, with some multi-size kits were purchased, as well as some hardened tool steel nozzles for those printing abrasive materials. Some spare parts were purchased, some PTFE Bowden tubes and their accompanying push fittings, as well as some V-slot wheel replacement parts. It's also good to see that the community is taking care to store their filaments in weather-tight boxes with dehumidifiers to prevent their filaments from be absorbing moisture and becoming brittle. I'm glad to hear that you all are learning from my mistakes. We also have your standard paint scrapers for removing prints from the bed, as well as your ever trusty digital calipers. Nothing too unusual in the accessories list though. I was hoping to see something unique that I could learn from and be able to experiment with, but it seems like the community has settled down with the types of tools and accessories that are useful for 3D printing. And finally, let's end with some of the weird non-3D printing items that you all purchased. 
A quick refresher on how the Amazon links work. When someone visits this link, it places a tracking cookie in their browser that expires in 24 hours. Whenever somebody adds an item to their cart within that 24 hours, it gets added to this list, even if that item isn't the item that they originally clicked on. First up, somebody is making a nice meal with an entire grocery list full of taco supplies, including ground beef ordered through Amazon Fresh. I hope you made enough for the rest of us. We also have some cosplay supplies. We have some biodegradable body glitter and a woman's steampunk corset with chains. And what's this? Oh, it's a pair of heavy duty double lock professional grade handcuffs. And these uh, low temp candles. Um, I'm starting to think that those weren't cosplay supplies after all. So let's get back on topic, shall we? I had a good deal of fun looking at this anonymized data. I know it's not perfect, it's a relatively small sample size, and the items are heavily influenced by the printers and tools that I use and the types of videos that I make. But I hope you found this as interesting as I did. You can see links to all of these items in the description below. And if you buy anything after visiting those links, not only are you helping support this channel, but your strange items could be featured in the next Amazon analysis video. If you have thoughts about any of this data, please leave a comment down below and we can have an awesome conversation there. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.